and here we are on the inside of it completely different from when the last time y'all seen it I'm putting a trolling motor right here at the mount this whole thing is got a troll bridge on it it's also my battery charging station and it's where my amplifier goes so I've got my three batteries one's for starting two are for the trolling motor I've got my built-in Minn Kota charger to where I can just plug in right here on the outside and keep the trickle on it I've got my amp which I need to hook up the first one was crappy so I had to buy a new amp um, and wire that and that mounts right up against this wall here so I still have all this room where I can put my fire extinguisher but having that all built in kind of helped balance the boat out too having these up here got my fishing pole holder mounted right there and then right here is my live well I still need to hook up the pump I've got it back there I just need to hook it up so right now we're just using it for storage but live well right here you can have your minnows over here you can catch bluegill or whatever bait you're using and put your catch actually right here, which is pretty awesome. The whole point of this boat was to have a um, fishing, slap, fishing in the front, party in the back, like a mullet, baby. I've got my light up there, my LED light, my four speakers, my nav up there. We had to cut all that out and sit there and wire them all. And the speakers that I have in there actually light up too. And they have their own special remote, so you can change them. You can see right there where I put the cords and just ran it up straight through there got my horn got this custom console that I bought it's actually off of a I can't even remember what it, what kind of boat it's off of got the horn cup holder got extra storage under there I still need to clean up some of the wiring just like I got the steering wheel I got off of eBay to match nice little wood grain it's actually it actually has the the tilt in it too which is nice you wouldn't think it'd be nice that big deal but all my gauges the gray wood grain got the kicker bluetooth it runs over there to my amp got the evan root throttle this right here i bought the um i bought the standard wiring harness from pontoonstuff.com wired everything based off of that and then i just need to change these these switches over to that um, for the one that mounts right in there. I just haven't got around to it. It'll mount right in there and it'll match. It'll match these other um, wood grain behind it. These chairs. I had all my chairs custom done by a lady. I bought these chairs off pontoonstuff.com and then I just had the insides redone. I put these patches on the front to kind of match the outside. Got storage underneath these. Of course, you can. There's storage under this part right here. My ladder, my diving board, and the fuel tank that I had done. I had this in the transom. I had it custom welded um, to where I can hold 17 gallons just in the transom that's already on it. If I could do it again, I would have probably just bought a new transom and put the ready-made one and scooted the motor back a little bit, which is kind of what they do on the modern ones. But it's done now. Floor. Had the floor all it was aluminum so you remember i had to scrub the whole bottom with that damn angle grinder what? and this floor came off of um pontoonstuff.com that special glue that was really fun putting on the doors they used to swing in but with the chairs up here i had to change the hinges to where they actually swing out I'm trying to think what else i got A ton of work on this thing i mean it's been crazy but it was worth it i think if the motor wouldn't have been bad from that guy being a POS, if it would have been legit, I'd be in this boat 15 grand. So the boat I wanted, or a boat similar to this, you know, brand new is about $40,000. So 15 grand for this ain't that bad. Just a lot of sweat equity in it. 